Here we go! Why your eyes twitch and how to stop it. Have you recently noticed your eye twitching? What, like this? Uh-huh. Yeah, boy, it can be a bit alarming to have your eye twitch every few seconds. The good news is that there's no reason to panic or rush to the emergency room. Most of the time, eye twitches are benign and can be treated with simple methods. Keep watching to see what might be causing that bothersome twitch and how you can make it stop. As always, don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on notifications to join us on the Bright Side of Life. According to certain cultures and superstitions, if your left eye twitches, it means good fortune is heading your way. If your right eye twitches, it means you should prepare for some bad luck. But all superstitions aside, an eye twitch is just an involuntary spasm. And it's not really your eye that's twitching, it's your eyelid. If your actual eye twitched, it would just be a tiny bit distressing to say the least. When your eye twitches, you can certainly feel the spasms, so it can seem as if everyone else will notice it too. However, in reality, the movement is so slight that it's almost completely imperceptible. You might even have a hard time noticing it if you look in the mirror. So there's no need to worry about your friends and co-workers spotting your twitch. The twitch usually happens in the upper eyelid, but it can also occur infrequently on the bottom eyelid. It can be present in one eye or both, and it can last for a few days. An eye twitch will usually resolve itself within three weeks. Your doctor might call an eye twitch by its medical term, blepharospasm or myokemia. The difference in the terms is in the severity of the condition. If the twitch is so strong that your eyelids fully close, that's when your doctor would call it a blepharospasm over myokemia. No one really knows what causes a blepharospasm. But there's a possibility that the cause could be genetic. This condition causes a person to blink fairly frequently, and it usually begins to show in mid to late adulthood. The condition is benign and lifelong. Treatment for blepharospasm includes oral medication, surgery, and botulism toxin injections, otherwise known as Botox. The use of these injections can cause the spasms to cease for a few months. Whether an eye twitch is a blepharospasm or a myokemia, the upside is that it doesn't affect someone's vision or mental faculties. Most of the time, an eye twitch is just annoying. It isn't a lifelong condition or a sign of anything serious. If you've been experiencing an eye twitch for a few days, it's time to look at what could be causing your condition. Since most eye twitches are benign, the causes haven't been fully investigated, but there are several likely culprits. Stress, fatigue, lack of sleep, eye strain and irritation, dry eyes, poor nutrition, and using alcohol, tobacco, and caffeine might all be causing your eye twitch. For long-term solutions, you'll need to make a few adjustments to your routine to allow you to say goodbye once and for all to that pesky eye twitch. Cut back on caffeine and alcohol. You can test if this is what's causing your eye twitch by avoiding these substances for a couple of weeks. Abstain from wine, beer, tea, coffee, chocolate, chocolate, mm. sugary drinks, and chocolate and coffee flavored ice creams and yogurts. Ah, oh, man. If you absolutely must have your morning coffee, you can switch to decaf for a while. Just be careful since, despite the name, some decaffeinated coffee can still contain caffeine. Reduce stress. Try to reduce or eliminate sources of stress in your life. If you have a stressful project at work, for example, maybe you can ask for support from a coworker or request an extension on the deadline. Try to exercise more frequently because a steady exercise routine has been shown to be a great stress reliever. Eat healthy meals that give you energy instead of making you feel depleted. Recover from fatigue. Everyone gets burned out if they don't stop to take care of themselves. You can eat smaller meals more frequently during the day while you get your energy back. Take a gentle 15-30 to 30 minute walk to get an energy boost. Check to see if fatigue is a side effect of any medications you are taking. 
get a good night's sleep. The National Sleep Foundation recommends that school-aged children sleep 9 to 11 hours, teenagers 8 to 10 hours, and young adults and adults 7 to 9 hours. If you have an irregular work schedule or you're a parent taking care of a baby, taking power naps can go a long way toward curing an eye twitch. If you're one of the thousands of people who suffer from insomnia, visiting a doctor can get you some relief. Avoid eye strain. Your job or hobbies might keep you engaged with a computer screen for hours on end. But you don't have to switch careers or stop playing your favorite video game. Avoid eye strain with this simple trick. Every 20 minutes or so, look away from the screen and let your eyes focus on an object that's far away, preferably outside your window. Do this for 20 seconds or longer. Having your computer on the right brightness setting can also relieve eye strain. As you learned earlier, most cases go away within three weeks. That's because it takes time for your body to recover from high stress, lack of sleep, or eye strain. But there are several things you can do to fast-track the process. Try these methods. Method number one. Close your eyes tightly and then open them. Keep doing that until your eyes tear up. The tears will help lubricate your eyes and reduce dryness. Method number two. With your fingers, apply gentle pressure around your eye and massage it. Just be very careful not to press too hard. You wouldn't want to poke your eye out. The pressure should be just enough to stimulate blood flow. Method number three. Head to the pharmacy and purchase a hot compress. If you don't want to spend money, You can run a towel under hot water and wait for it to cool down until it's safe to press against your skin. Lie down and put the hot compress on your eye. Leave it on for a few minutes. Method number four. Use eye drops to keep your eyes lubricated. Every time you feel your eyes becoming too dry, use another drop. Method number five. Close your eyes and squeeze them tight for a full minute. Then relax your eyes without opening them for a few seconds. Repeat this method twice more. Doing this will stimulate tear production. You can use one of these methods or all of them in an effort to stop an eye twitch. On very rare occasions, eye twitching can point to a more serious brain or nerve disorder like Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis, Tourette syndrome, Bell's palsy, and dystonia. In these cases, the eye twitch is usually accompanied by other notable symptoms. So when is it time to visit the doctor? Make an appointment if your eye twitch is accompanied by other symptoms. Your eye has been twitching for more than three weeks. Other parts of your face are also twitching. Your eyelid is twitching so forcefully that you have a hard time keeping your eye open. Your eye is red and swollen. You notice a discharge coming from your eye. You can completely prevent eye twitches from disrupting your day by following the recommendations you've learned about today. If your eye has just started to twitch and there aren't any other symptoms, don't worry about it too much. Worrying can make you feel stressed and keep your eye twitching for longer. Instead, focus on relaxing and taking care of yourself. So tell us, Brightsiders! Have you ever noticed your eye twitching? Did any of our methods work for you? Let us know in the comment section. Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe to stay on the Bright Side.